Alright, hi, today I'm going to go through how to make uh, these kind of cool fractal shapes in Photoshop CS4. A uh, quick, easy tip of um, what I think is the best technique for making uh, repeating shapes like this. And um, you can use this on a background for anything, for a website or a poster, or just practice with Photoshop. Um, so, to start with, this is the kind of thing that we'll be creating. Might not, it might not be the same, but um, okay, so to start with, just create a new document. Press Control on your keyboard, Control N on your keyboard to bring up a new document. 750 by 750 is fine. Press OK. Um, double click the background layer to unlock it. Press G on the keyboard just to bring up the gradient tool. Choose um, a background that you like. Hold down shift and drag. So this is the background we'll be working with. Uh, you can label that background, it's always good practice. Always label your layers. Um, and go ahead and click create a new layer at the bottom of the layers palette. And always work in new layers as well. Um, it's always a good thing to do, best thing to do. So you can go back. Um, okay, so grab the pen tool, press P on the keyboard click and drag out a shape, this one, uh, any curved shape like that, so just click once and then twice again. Um, now, to start with you need to make sure that your brush tool is on a small brush, so press B uh, to get the brush tool, make it uh, about one pixel will be fine, 100% hardness, um, and Black's fine, doesn't really matter what the colour is because we can change that afterwards anyway. Um, press P again on the keyboard, get back to the pen tool, right click, go down to stroke path, make sure it's on brush, and press OK. Um, and you can see that it's straight that path. So press Ctrl H to get rid of the um, pen tool, and you've got that shape left there. Um, and to create this swirl, if you press Control T on the key keyboard uh, and go into the middle, you see that middle kind of um, point in the middle. Click that and drag it down to the bottom left hand corner. Then go up and rotate that maybe one degree. You can see up here the degrees here, one degree will be fine. Maybe less, maybe 1.8. Yep. And then just click the tick or double press click enter to accept that. Um, and, um, nothing's happened obviously. Um, but now if you press Control Shift Alt T, you see it'll copy that into a new layer and rotate it by those few degrees. So go ahead and just keep holding down Control Shift Alt and repeatedly press T. Um, say up to about 20 or 30 is fine and you can already see we've got quite a cool um, shape here and this is a really useful technique if you just press Control T and do, do what I just did and then press Control Shift Alt T it will repeat that angle again uh, now go ahead into the layers palette and scroll down uh, with the top layer selected and hold down Shift on the first layer you created um, and press Control E, which will merge all those layers together. Um, now you can press Control T again, and just holding that Shift and Alt, make that a little bit smaller. Double click to accept that. Press V to move it, move it up to the top. And now all we can do, press Control T, uh, move that middle anchor point into the bottom left hand corner and just rotate this around to about there um, double click to accept that and do the same thing control shift alt t which will repeat that round until you get a circle shape just wait for it to render and just keep pressing that until you get um, all kind of fractal shape, doesn't matter if it goes over a bit because we can change the colour again. So again with the top layer selected, I've got 40 copies and that's fine. Uh, go down to the bottom one, 
holding down shift and click control E you can press right click and merge the layers if you like or just press control E as a shortcut key um, and here we've got the fractal shape if you press control T you can um, you can make that smaller again um, take that down double click enter um, if you go over to the right hand side of the layer double click it, you can put a um, color overlay on it, just change the color um, and turn down the the opacity on that if you like and also if you click onto it holding that out you can copy it bring it over, press control T and make it smaller you can see this is a cool way of making fractal shapes um, in Photoshop press out and drag again create another one and just resize that if you want make it a bit bigger go ahead and um, change the colors of those by clicking on the color overlay um, to a green color it's okay um, yeah and that's how you make fractals um, if you like you can change the background color so it stands out a bit more put it onto um, a darker background um, this and there you have it you have cool fractal shapes you can do them again with different shapes as well with the pen tool you start 